Good afternoon students. Welcome once again to DSG's home classes, a digital initiative taken by Director of School Education Shirimati Anurata Gupta. Thanks for her for taking this initiative. Dear students, as you know, my name is Mohinder Goswami, teacher posted at GHS Batod in District Rapan. Today, I am going to discuss with you class 7th chapter number 2, subject English. But before discussing, I would like to tell you one thing that I promise with you that I will take you on a long journey. So I decided today it is the time to take you on a journey. So let's begin the journey and enjoy the journey. Dear students, now look at these pictures. Have you ever seen such kind of place in your life? Some of you may say yes and some of you may say no sir. Okay, now I will show you another pictures. Dear students, now look the second picture. Do you know the name of these pictures? This beautiful place? Some of again may say no sir, we will not know. Okay then, I will show you another. Now I think you will definitely guess which place is this. Dear students, now look at this third picture. I am quite sure now you will definitely know which place is this. Yes, you are right. You are right. This is a Kashmir. And today, we will go on the journey of Kashmir. Let's begin the journey. Dear students, welcome to Kashmir, which is known for its beauty, which is known for its charm. In short, you can say paradise on earth. Once a king visited this place and said, if there is paradise on earth, it is this, it is this, it is this. I want to quote the words of the king. Agar fidos bare zameen was hami asto, hami asto, hami asto. These are the beautiful words we describe the Kashmir. Students, in today's lesson, we will know about the great personalities of the Kashmir. Along with this, we will also enjoy the beauties of the Kashmir. Students, let's begin the journey. First, we will take a car and then we will proceed towards Kashmir. In Kashmir, we will see many pictures. Students, I think you should definitely enjoy the look at this picture. You might have seen this picture, this beautiful place. So we will see such kind of places in Kashmir. Dear students, Kashmir is very beautiful place. Everywhere you find natural greenery. Kashmir is a land of great sands and poets. During this journey, we will discuss about one of the great sand and poetess of Kashmir, Lal Dad. So we will see who was Lal Dad, what she did in her life. We will find out these answers. Dear students, Lal Dad, which may be wrongly pronounced by some people Lal Dad, she is Lal Dad of Kashmir, a saint, a poetess. We will know about the life history of a great personality of Kashmir, which is known as the backbone of Kashmiri culture. Dear students, today we will know about the greatest women saint and poetess of Kashmir, Lal Dad. We will know about her life history. We will solve textual questions. Along with this, we will work on grammar part. We will develop love for nature and natural beauty with this. Dear student, Lal Dad, the backbone of Kashmiri culture, she is known for her wisdom and inspiration to the generation. People like her because she did a lot of work 
for Kashmir and Kashmiri culture. She develops the basic instincts in the people about the life and the wisdom. She advises people to renounce the things and become a saint and work for the society, work for the people. Dear students, learn that she was born in 1320 and she was died in 1392. She was the greatest poetess and saint of Kashmir in 14th century. Many books were written on her. Lal Dad, the great Kashmiri saint and poetess, is also one of the books which was, which was edited by Dr. S.S. Toshkani. So these are the things we will discuss in this chapter. Now students, Dear students, as we have discussed that she was born in 1320, she was born in Padminpur near Pampur in Pulwama district, which is a very beautiful place on this earth. Students, this is geographical map of the Pulwama district where Laldad was born. She walked, she lived in this place. Dear students, as we have discussed, Lal Dad is a renowned personality of Kashmir. In Kashmir, she is known by various appellations like Lala, Lal Arifa, Me Lal Didi, Laleshwari, Lal Yogeshwari, and Lal the Great. Dear students, she was married at the age of 12, but her married life proved unhappy. And she left her in-laws to take a sannyas. Dear student, she took a sannyas and she became a Sufi saint. She created mystic poetry called Vaks. Vak, which means a four-lined poem, is called a Vak. It literally means saying or a speech. Her Vaks are the earliest Kashmiri literature which is full of wisdom and inspired to see unity among the people of all religions. This is such kind of literature which binds generation together. Dear students, in her poetry, she advises people not to indulge in worldly persuades. She advises them to work hard for life, but not run before the material things. Dear students, Lal Ded has a greatly influenced Sheikh Nuruddin Wali, who was also one of the famous poet and saint of the time. Dear students, Lal Ded was a towering personality in the history of Kashmir literature. She has become a household name as a symbol of patience. Everybody talked about her, her wisdom and her ingenuity towards the world. Dear students, many books were written on her. Her work have been translated into English by various scholars, various persons. Richard Temple is one of them. Jialal Kol, Kolman Box, Jashiri, Odin and Nirja Matu who has translated her works into other languages of the world. Dear students, a solo play in English, Hindi and Kashmiri titled Lal Dad based on her life has been performed by the actress Mita Bashisht all over India. Pyaare bacho, ye thi ek aisi shakhsiyat jiske baare mein humne jana jinka naam tha Lal Dad कुछ लोग इसको इनको गलत नाम से पुकारते हैं लाल डैड इनका नाम लाल डैड है ये 14th सेंचुरी की एक महान कवित्री हुई हैं एक बहुत बड़े सेंट हुए हैं इन्होंने कश्मीर के साहित्य के लिए बहुत कुछ किया इनको एक बहुत बड़ी बैकबोन रीड की हड्डी माना जाता है कश्मीर के इतिहास में जहां तक 
इनके बारे में हम जानते हैं ये पदमिनपोर पम्पोर पुलवामा का एक शहर है गांव है जहां ये पैदा हुई इन्होंने 12 साल की उम्र में इनकी शादी हो गई और इनकी जो शादीशुदा लाइफ थी वो इतनी अच्छी नहीं थी इन्होंने उसे छोड़कर अपने सगे संबंधियों को छोड़कर एक सन्यासन की ज़िंदगी बतीत की इन्होंने अपनी लाइफ में बहुत विजडम हासिल किया बहुत ज्ञान हासिल किया और ये अमूमन लोगों को सलाह देती थी कि वो अपनी ज़िंदगी में मटेरियल चीज़ों के पीछे ना भागें अपनी लाइफ को गॉड को समर्पित कर दें वर्क करें इन चीज़ों को लेकर वो आगे लाइफ में बढ़ी उन्होंने हम लोगों को इंस्पायरेशन दी विजडम दी जहाँ तक कि इन्होंने जो एक कविताओं की रचना की इनकी जो कविताएं हैं वो वाक के नाम में कश्मीर से जानी गई वाक ये कैसी ऐसी कविता जिसके अंदर चार लाइनें होती हैं ये कविताएं जो हैं कहावतों की शक्ल में या फिर अलग मॉरल स्पीच की शक्ल में उन्होंने दी कश्मीर में इनको अलग अलग नाम से जाना जाता था ललेश्वरी नाम के नाम से मेई लाल दीदी के नाम से लाल योगेश्वरी के नाम से तो प्यारे बच्चों ये जो इनकी शख्सियत थी ये सिर्फ हिंदुस्तान में ही नहीं पूरी दुनिया में लोगों ने जाना इनकी जो लिखी हुई किताबें जो हैं उनको अलग अलग भाषाओं में ट्रांसलेट किया गया डियर स्टूडेंट्स विद दिस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस चैप्टर नंबर लेसन नंबर टू एंड वी हैव इंजॉयड द स्टोरी अलॉन्ग विद द जर्नी टू कश्मीर नाउ इट्स टाइम to work with the text to the first, as far as the first question is concerned what are the titles given to lal dad so we have discussed in the story the different titles given to lal dad are lala lal arifa mai lal didi laleshwari lal yogeshwari and lala the great now as far as the second question is concerned Dear students, as far as the second question is concerned, why did she leave her in-laws? So, as we have discussed in the story, she left her in-laws because her married life was not happy, and she wanted to become a sannyasin. Third question: Where did she go, and what did she do? She went away from the worldly persuades, and she became a saint and a Sufi poetess. now the fourth question what is waq as we have discussed the four line poem is called a waq it literally means a saying or speech what are the features of lal dad poetry lal dad's poetry is a treasure of wisdom which is made up of waqs it inspire the unity and harmony between various religions and races that continuously inspire the people all over the world now the question number 6 who came un- under influence sheikh nuruddin wali came under the influence of lal dad as you know who he was also the great saint of the time the question number 7 who translated her poetry into english So, dear students, there were many persons who translated her poetry into English. These include Richard Temple, J. L. L. Cole, Coleman Barks, J. Shri Odin, and Nirja Mattu. Dear students, in language work, we will see compound word. When two words are joined together to make a new word, is called compound word. For example, underground, it becomes under ground. Under plus stand, it will become understand. Now I am giving you one more exercise for you to solve. This is match the following compound words. There is given words, you can read them and then match which is the suitable one. But do yourself so that you can understand or you can take the help of dictionary also. Student, word formation is the last topic in your lessons. the skill of making new words from the existing words are known as verb formation or word building types of word formation affixes which which have a prefix and suffix 
compound words use a word as a noun and a pronoun you you need to understand that prefix is a word which is put before and suffix is put in the end but it makes the new words now students it's time to homework write down all the material in your notebook and answer the following question who was lal dad why had she left her home who translated her work you have to give the answer students you are requested to read the whole story from your book also so that you may understand the whole topic effectively thank you very much